Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to Today I Feel Like. Today we are going to check out the Comica VM10 K4 microphone vlog kit. This is a smartphone microphone vlog kit. It's supposed to come with just about, well, everything you need to start vlogging with a new microphone on there and a handle and some other stuff. So let's go ahead, unpackage it, take a look at it and see what comes inside. And here we go. All right, first things first. Uh, this is strange because it didn't come inside like of a box. Normally things come inside of a box, which is sort of in a bag and then this bag. So let's go ahead and open this bag up and then we'll see what the, uh, the actual contents look like here. So there we have it. We can see that we're going to get a, uh, we're gonna get a user manual and a warranty card and a thank you card. So we'll set that over there. And we have the infamous silica gel. It's always there. <laughs> All right, so this is what we're gonna get first. We have a handle, which actually feels really nice. Um, it has sort of a rubbery grip to it uh, right here. On here, this is a quarter 20 thread right there that you can use and it spins up so that you can get this uh, a little bit, uh, a little bit more. On the other side, we're right here, we have a uh, 3 8 connection. So if you need a 3 8 you, uh, you can flip that over if you want. But we're gonna go ahead and put this back down because we, uh, we don't actually need a 3 8 So, And you can always, if you want this down a little bit more, you can, um, you can screw that down a little bit more and then you can tighten it there. So um, on the bottom, we also have a quarter 20 thread so that, you can, um, so that you can actually put this on something else like an extension pole or a tripod or something there. So uh, we have the phone clip right here. And this is, uh, yeah, this thing feels pretty, pretty solid. It's plastic, but it actually feels like it's pretty solid there. So you're going to need to twist this to, uh, to unlock that and to, to give it some, uh, you know, to give it some, um, whatchamacallit, some space so that you can make it wide enough to fit your phone. There is another lock, there is another twist one here. I'm not exactly sure what this one does, so I'll have to try and figure that out. But this one is what you're gonna need to twist to make it wide enough that you can actually fit your phone in there. So last, well not last, but one almost last, we have the microphone here. So this is going to be the Comica CVM V10 II, and this is going to be a, uh, a video microphone. And uh, yeah, so this is the shock mount right there. You can see this is going to be the microphone capsule. Feels pretty solid. I think this is actually a metal capsule. If it's not, it's a very solid, robust feeling plastic. So, but I think it's actually metal. Um, we're also going to get a, um, we're also gonna get a dead cat that we can use there if it's windy outside. We are going to get a, um, it looks like some sort of cold shoe magnet here that we can, uh, or cold shoe mount, excuse me, cold shoe magnet. If I can, uh, if I can get this out of the plastic here, uh, let's see, there we go. And I'm not exactly sure when we would use this, but um, yeah, it looks like, it looks like this is going to be a cold shoe mount of some sort. And this sort of, this one thing right here is flat. So yeah, I'm not sure exactly when this is gonna be used. If anybody has an idea of when to use this, let me know, I'm curious. So I might have to figure that out. So um, maybe, maybe it just sticks right, yeah, I don't know what this is. I think this is a sticky mount there. So I think maybe you can stick something there, I don't know. We'll figure that out. Um, we also have this, uh, we also have this sort of extension bar on here so that we can we can put this, oh, you know, I think this is gonna go, maybe this is gonna go on here. Yeah, I think this is what it is. I think this is going to go on to the, um, I think this is gonna go on here and then you can mount this onto here. I think that's how that's gonna go. So, all right, we're gonna get all this, we're gonna get all this figured out and put together in just a moment, well, let's just get all the pieces out. And um, we are last but not least, we get the uh, the audio cable. This is an audio cable for smartphones. And so there's that. We're only gonna get one audio cable with this. So they did design this, uh, they did design this kit for smartphones. So we're only going to get the smartphone cable. If you need one for your camera, then you're gonna have to get a different audio cable. So, 
and of course we have the case. So yeah, that is everything right there that comes with it. The mic, the dead cat, the, uh, the little cold shoe clip, the phone clip, the audio cable, and this extension uh, bar and the arm and everything. We get to get the instructions and, uh, and we can't forget the silica gel. So, all right. Now that we have everything out, let's go ahead and I'm gonna put this together right quick and we'll take a look at it all put together and then uh, try it out and see how it performs. All right, so here is the full kit put together. So I have the, uh, the handle with the phone clip and the microphone on top along with the foam wind puff and the dead cat so that everything is nice and ready to go. And I have the extension arm on here so you can put another accessory over here like a light. Now, I like this. It feels really solid. It does. It feels very, very solid. But there are a couple things that I don't like about this uh, this kit right away as I was putting it together. One, the handle here spins. So for whatever reason, it just spins. I don't know why, but it does. And that's just a little annoying. It doesn't seem to really be affecting anything, but it's just sort of spins. And so, um, yeah, if you, you know, if you're holding it and it turns, it just doesn't make things feel as secure as they should. So, um, the other thing is, is the, um, the placement of the cable. Um, it doesn't, um, it, the way that it is right here, it comes right out the back of the, uh, of the microphone and it doesn't have an angled adapter. So it's sort of like my cable's constantly banging against my phone and you can probably hear that. So if you're walking, you know, and it's bouncing. I'm wondering if that's gonna cause some uh, some handling noise with the cable banging against your phone. Now, the other thing is, is that this does not come with a cable adapter or a audio adapter for iPhones and Android phones if you don't have a uh, if you don't have a headphone jack. So, if you have a phone like maybe one of the uh, the Samsung uh, Note series or one of the like the S, uh, S20 series or something like that, and you don't have a headphone jack, you're gonna have to get a uh, USB-C audio adapter, or if you have an iPhone, you're gonna have to get a lightning adapter. I don't understand why they just don't include these with the microphones now. I mean, everybody knows that Apple hasn't uh, included a headphone jack on their phones for years now, and Samsung pretty much the same thing. So they know people are going to need you know, audio adapters, and I wish they would just include it with them. So, um, yeah. Uh, the other thing is, I really feel like this kit needs a light. I would have rather have this kit, I wish they had provided a light with this kit. I think it would be worth an extra few bucks for them to put some sort of light in here. So, because it doesn't have one, I'm gonna need one because it's getting a little dark outside when I go to test this. So I'm gonna grab a light here. I have, uh, I have my Lytra Pro. Uh, yeah, I think this is Elytra Pro. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this on here. I'm gonna mount this and see if it fits right here. I'm gonna go and vlog with it and without it, let you see it. I'm gonna go ahead outside also and, uh, and unplug the microphone so you can see uh, what the audio sounds like with just the iPhones uh, microphones and then I'll plug in the uh, then I'll plug in the Comica mic and we'll see what it sounds like with the mic compared to without it. So uh, let me hook the light up and then head outside and, uh, and test this thing out for everyone. All right, everyone, I'm outside here and I'm walking now a little bit with the kit. Right now what I'm doing is just filming with my iPhone alone. Um, I just want you to hear what the built-in microphones of the iPhone sound like. And so um, I don't have the light on either. We can see it's starting to get dark out here a little bit. So let's go ahead now and plug this microphone in, see if it makes a difference. And then I'll turn the light on as well so we can see uh, if the light makes a difference as well. All right, so I now have the microphone plugged in to my phone. And so what you were hearing now is audio coming from the Comica microphone. I believe this is the VM10 II. And yeah, so um, yeah, I'm using it. I'm just holding it out. I'm sitting down, so I'm not really moving right now. But I'm going to go ahead and I'll walk with this microphone a little bit so we can hear if the shock mount is going to work and if we're going to get any uh, handling noise from it. So let me just go ahead and uh, walk with it a bit here and we'll see how this is gonna perform. So, um, yeah, again, this is using the Comica mic and I don't have the light on. So I'm gonna go ahead now and turn the light on and see how this, uh, see if this makes a difference at all. And there we go. Let me turn this up a bit. So we'll get this thing boosted all the way up there and we'll see what a light really does for you. So there we have it. That is with the light on 
and so I really wish this uh, kit would have came in, would have come included with a light but if you don't if it you know it doesn't so if you have one you can just go ahead and add it on there to the extension arm but if you don't have one well then you can pick one up now if you're vlogging only in the daytime you don't really need to worry about it but if you ever find yourself at a time when it's starting to get dark a light will definitely help you out uh, help you out a lot all right well i know that some people are likely going to use this kit indoors and they'll want to use the microphone indoors so I'm going to go ahead back in the house now and test it out in the studio and see what this sounds like if you're filming inside, you know, and recording. So let's uh, let's head on back inside and test it out. And then we're going to get up on out of here. So let's head back in. OK, so I'm indoors again now. And yeah, I want to test this indoors, this microphone indoors and see what it sounds like so that you can get an idea of what to expect if you plan on recording inside with this microphone. So let me go ahead and turn my phone around and start filming myself here. And there we go. So now you can see and hear, we can see me on the, on the iPhone, but we can hear what this microphone sounds like. So I'm just holding this microphone just arm's length apart here. So uh, this, is what you would, uh, this is what you would sound like if you were just holding this so that if you were vlogging or you were indoors and you had it set on a tripod or something, you know, about this far apart, about arm's length apart. This is what you can expect from this Comica microphone. So yeah, I'm curious to know what you think of it in comparison to the iPhone because well, the iPhones have pretty good microphones anyways and I'm sure you know what that sounds like. If you have an iPhone and you've been filming indoors with just your microphone alone, your built-in microphones alone, you know that those sound how they sound. And so I'm curious to know what you think about this microphone in comparison. All right, everyone, so there we have it. That is it. That is a look at the Comica CVM V10 K4 smartphone video microphone kit. And yeah, um, it's pretty good. There are a couple things that I didn't like about it, but it, in general, it is a very good kit. I really like this phone mount. Um, I was not thinking I was going to be a fan of it because I generally don't like the phone mounts that you have to twist to a uh, to sort of uh, expand and then twist it again to lock it onto your phone. I've been much more of a fan of the spring-loaded ones, but this thing is so rock solid, it has won me over. Um, the handle actually feels like it's really solid, except for the fact that the grip keeps twisting on me, and that is really, really annoying. I want the grip to be solid. Now, it doesn't unlock, it's not like it's coming unscrewed, it's just that the rubber grip part of it is twisting along the, uh, the, the handle itself, so. Um, I do wish that it came with some tripod legs so that you can uh, actually set the the uh, the whole kit up like I have it right here. Some tripod legs would be really nice. It does have a quarter 20 uh, thread mount on the bottom so that you can set it on some legs. I just wish that it came included. So yeah, anyways, I like it. I think it's pretty good. It's about $40 on Amazon. There's usually some coupons you might find on there if that may give you a couple bucks off, but that just depends on when you go on there. So. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and leave a link to this product down below in the video description so that you can check it out. I'm also gonna leave links to my Amazon page, my social media contacts so you can reach me elsewhere. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon and until next time, Love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.